Hey guys, I'm gonna do a short video showing you my my new drone here, DJI Mavic Air. This is the coolest little thing. Let's give it to the scale. I'll hold it up. And um, this is a GPS drone. It has um, you know altitude hold, coordinates, um, return to home if it loses signal. Um, pretty pretty slick. It's all controlled through your control there and the phone <clears throat> and I thought I'd do a demo on here I'm gonna try to use this head strap to, to, to show you show me flying it uh, bear with me I've never used this head strap before so hopefully I'm gonna aim it in the right spot it's hard to tell exactly where this thing is pointed maybe if one of you guys know how you're supposed to do that that's great Anyway, I'm going to take my battery, and it goes in right in the bottom. You see the contacts there in there? Let's see. I'm going to make sure that it latches in there completely. You're going to make sure your antennas are down. All right. Get the battery in there, and let me test the battery. This battery has got one bar, so I'm not gonna use that battery. Let me check another battery here. Okay, it's got my name on here, so I'm trying to not show my name to everybody. Anyway, uh, so here it is. This is the DJI Mavic Air. This is the Fly More Combo. It uh, doesn't come with this case. I bought this case. It was like $20, not a big deal. I put on the uh, polarizer filter and uh this is the coolest little thing this thing will film in uh, 4k video i typically run it in 2.7 though i don't really run it in 4k i don't find a it uses more space at 4k it takes longer to render and really uh for the type of video i'm doing it doesn't i don't need it that that detailed 2.7 is pretty good so the so thumb uh th thumb wheels just uh, they mount right there. Take them out, so you can just control it right like that. There's the antennas, and then you take your phone, and you've got the little plug there, and it's gonna plug right in like that, and then push it up into the slot just like that. Mm -hmm. If I press it once, it shows me the battery level. Press and hold, it turns it on. I'll turn it on. Should launch the app automatically too. Give it a second there. Okay, you can check the version. Make sure you guys can see all that. And let me power up the drone. See the gimbal doing a reset. I can't really tell what this thing is looking at, so bear with me. If it doesn't work, I'll have to redo this video. I will say that this is the second time. <laughs> the first one I didn't I didn't aim the camera in the right spot. Anyway. So okay, here we are. I'm gonna turn the brightness up on this thing. Crank that up all the way. So they get the latest firmware. I also like to make sure this thing, okay, I got my chip in there, that's good. And I gotta make sure that my My unit's gonna return to home. You know, so if it loses the signal, it returns to home, and it'll go to this return to home altitude that I've got set there at 75 meters. Let's see. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's set to if it loses a signal or return to home. Okay, so here, I don't know if you can see it or not, it shows that the seven satellites, I could launch it right now, but it'll run in vision mode. I'm going to wait a little bit and see if I can get the, if I get it up to eight, it'll, um, it'll go into GPS mode, which is really what I want. It's just that where I'm at, I'm behind the house, I'm on the back deck. Point has been updated. Please check it on the map. I have to just get it exactly right as I launch. And okay, so I got my satellites now. Looks like it's ready to go. I'm hearing planes fly overhead. That's not cool. Let's see how high up that plane is. I know that uh, they're supposed to be above a certain height. A lot of times they're not. And they bitch about us drone flyers. There he is. Yeah. Definitely not up very high. So go figure, huh? Anyway, let's see. Is this. I'm trying to see if this thing is aimed right, but anyway. Let's go take off here. Oh, let's do a precision takeoff here. I'm going to do a precision takeoff. So if I hit this button right here, I can select precision takeoff. It's going to be very accurate when it comes to land. I slide this over. It's going to take off to a certain height and then hover. The beeping you hear is like the parking assist in your car. I'm going to turn this thing up right there. So, it's going to just hover right there. <coughs> I'm going to take it up a little bit. Alright, so let me turn this thing back down here. Turn the gimbal down. At 135 feet, 140 feet. I'm not sure if you can see that okay on this phone here. Let me bring it up to about 200. All right, that's 200 feet right there. Point it straight down. See where it came from? Yeah. See, I launched it right from the back deck there. <laughs> I got dipole antennas, beam antennas. So it's facing up to my backyard. I'm going to go that direction. All right, I'll push forward on the stick. We're moving. About 300 feet away. In that yard and behind me. Gosh, I hope this thing is focusing in on it. You see, it's a uh, distance 800 feet, 209 feet elevation. some signal issues here. The thing with a drone is if you ever stop, people think that you're spying on them, so I try not and try not and stop. Kind of coming around here. They had a weak signal. Got these little reflectors that I sometimes put on this thing. Connect to these antennas a little bit. In fact, let me bring it up a little bit. I got ants crawling. Go home. All right, so it just lost signal on me. Not very far away. 
and it's just going to return back. Wasn't that far away either. And you can see here, if I bring this up, it shows you a bigger map of uh, where it is. It's actually over the next neighborhood over there. 1,300 feet away. Okay, I'm gonna cancel the uh, return to home just so that uh, so you don't have to hear the beeping. Matter of fact, let me switch screens here. I don't want to start the camera here. The camera that's on the drone. So I'll be able to put this video on the, on the other video, show you what it looks like. Matter of fact, I might just fly right by the house here. You'll hear it fly overhead. Go down my street a little bit. You can hear it. Just flew over my head. Kind of fun flying around the neighborhood. <laughs> And they got a sport mode, so it can go. Uh, it can go about 40, 40 miles an hour in sport mode. Let me just switch it to sport mode, so you can see. Yep. It sounds different too when it flies by. Take it out of sport mode when I'm going to land. Okay, so we get some birds that just go crazy around here. Let me move this thing up. You can see it. We got some hawks and they will chase these drones. Oh my god. I'm going to turn it around so it's passes back towards me it's better to come in so that it's uh, perspective is correct so when you pull down it comes towards you now, I could hit the return to home it'll come back and land where it landed where it took off but because of the way these trees are to turn off the camera I'll inspect my roof here you can see that. Got a nice breeze when it's right above me. And we're landing. That's it. That is my drone, DJI Mavic Air. Let me uh, turn this off.
Okay, so some of the questions you guys probably want to know. Top speed, for about 43 miles per hour uh, in sport mode. Uh, maximum distance, well, if you get a lot of vegetation around here, you're not going to get too far. Maybe uh, a mile, um, depending on the elevation. You're not supposed to drive it outside a line of sight. So, um, But at the beach or something like that, you can go you know, a couple miles anyway. Uh, the thing is, though, you have to be aware of is uh, if you're flying it away from you, uh, make sure the wind, you're going into the wind so that when you come back, you're definitely going to make it back. Some people have the wind behind them and they go way out there and then they can't quite make it back. Now, if you don't make it back, there is an app called Find My Drone. It'll lead you right to, uh, right, right to it. Um, well... I should say right to where it last picked it up. So if it was out of range, you might have an issue. But anyway, uh, so the Fly More Combo uh, comes with uh, two extra batteries. As a matter of fact, I forgot to take the battery out, so let me go ahead and do that. And um, the drone itself, I think, is about $700. Uh, you can buy it with the Fly More kit, which gives you... Two extra batteries, it gives you a case, not this case, a different case, and a way to charge all the batteries all at the same time. It's a couple hundred bucks more, but you know, the batteries are gonna, batteries are not cheap. These things are intelligent batteries. As a matter of fact, if you charge them up and you don't use your drone for about a week, it'll discharge the batteries. You're not supposed to leave uh, these batteries fully charged all the time. So anyway, that's, that's it. That's my DJI Mavic Air. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and post them in the comment section down below. Uh, again, I'm not a expert YouTuber. I'm working at it. Um, I've got to turn this thing down a little bit. I'm not an expert YouTuber, so <laughs> any any helpful criticism would be helpful. Um, like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any po questions, again, just go ahead and post them in, in the comment section. Anyway, thanks a lot. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.